Hey guys, the skiptivity of the day today is to do the sit and reach test. So we're going to need a couple materials. We need to have a ruler and we need to have a stair. And the first thing we need to do is we need to warm up our bodies, warm up our legs specifically because we're going to be stretching our hamstrings because your muscles are kind of like a rubber band and a cold rubber band will not stretch. But a warmed up rubber band, when it's been moved a lot, like a someone who does a warm-up jog is moving their muscles a lot and they're getting warmed up, it can stretch really far. But if you take a cold rubber band and you pull it like this, it might snap. So I'm going to grab one out of the freezer and we'll see what happens. Let's check it out. All right, I just got this rubber band out of the freezer. Watch what happens when you stretch a cold rubber band. Oh, snapped right like that. So we want to make sure we warm up our muscles so we don't have that happen to our muscles. So I'm going to go for a jog. I'll see you in a little bit. Woo! All right, I'm back from my jog, nice and warmed up, stretched out a little bit too, and now I'm ready to set up my sit and reach board. So I've got my stair here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this ruler and I'm going to measure how far I can reach from the edge of the stair, and I'm going to add nine inches to that. So I'm going to sit down and put my feet flat against this part of the stair. And I'm going to have my legs straight so they don't bend. And I'm going to slowly lean forward, putting my hands on top of each other. And I'm going to slowly push as far as I can. And I'm going to see how far I can reach. And then I'm going to add nine inches to that from the edge of the stair. And then that's my sit and reach score. So let's see how I do. Try a couple times, keeping my knees flat on the ground here, not jerking back and forth, but just nice and slowly. I'm going to go again. Okay, one more try. Nice flat knees, nice and slow, hands on top of each other. So my score was actually even with the edge of the stair. So that means I got nine inches. If I was short of the stair, I would just subtract my measurement from nine minus whatever that is. So if I got one inch short of the stair, my measurement would be eight. So my sit and reach score today is nine inches. If you want, you can measure one leg at a time by going like this, putting one foot flat on the ground, one foot over here, and kind of leaning this way and then you'd switch or you can do both feet at the same time it's your preference whatever you choose all right well hopefully you got your hamstrings nice and stretched out and got your sit and reach score and we'll see you next time